Dude, like, you know what's funny as shit is when you're listening to some fucking... Okay, well, let me let me reframe this. You know how old school, like, pop songs, they do, they got that, like, dun, get, get, dun, get, dun, get, get, dun, get, type right. of shit going on? Or they do that, like, mm, get, 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 the fucking shuffle beat. Well, I was listening to some hardcore shit the other day, and the fucking drummer was just like, it was like, That's some ska shit. Oh shit, dude, you're all blurry. Oh, oh no. my god. Dude, can the audience see this bitch spreading her cheeks right now? No, you want to see him? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Look at that ass. That. Let me full screen it for your audience. Oh, wait. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh man, it won't let me. I was trying to zoom in Come on it. Come on, make her shake what. The Lord gave her. Oh, yeah. See, Sports Illustrated really misses out on all this amateur content. Yeah, it's true. I really wish that Sports Illustrated would call me that. <laughs> I'm big. I can block shit, man. Yeah, they, they need the uh, Mike, uh, the, the Lord Mike Bedlam spread issue. Get that full cover, get that trifold. I mean, I mean, like, and I mean, like, full spread. I want to spread my butt cheeks and everything. Like, stereotypical pose. You know what? No, full casting couch pose, dude. Just <laughs> laying on casting couch. What the heck? Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> get it. All right. The calendar will be out next month. <laughs> Interior crocodile alligator. I drive a Chevrolet movie theater. Interior cracker crocodile alligator. I drive a Chevrolet theater. I'm like, what the hell drug you got for us? All right, so today's drug of the day, and I have to get back to it because we were doing some testing and shit. Drug uh, testing. To drug testing, yeah, exactly. Um, Not on this shit, though. Jesus Christ. What? <laughs> PCP. Oh, uh, not... Yeah, I don't really want to do that. All right, so today's drug of the day is PCP. I have zero interest in PCP, angel dust, sherm, and shernal. I would much rather not. Thank you. <laughs> All right, AJ, go ahead, All man. Right, You're the weed go. guy. All right. Ready for it? Phenylacidine is a synthetic disassociative substance of anilocyte. means chemical class that produces potent long-lived disassociative anesthetic stimulating disinhibiting and hallucinogenic effects when diminished. PCP as primarily is an NMDA receptor antagonist meaning it binds to and blocks the activity and NMDA receptor the receptor responsible for the transmission of neural impulses in the central nervous system. I think he I just, can do it. I think just, I'll do it faster next time. I'm sorry. He just did two whole fucking paragraphs. Dude, all right, so... There's like two sentences. <laughs> you have... Run on sentences. You have homework to do when we leave tonight. You need to you need to memorize that entire line from Liar Liar. Come back here and recite the entire thing. I'll do it. Do it. <laughs> I'm just... <laughs> But oh, yeah, it's a synthetic disassociative substance, uh, produce potent, long-lived disassociating. Yeah, it makes you out of your fucking mind. Yeah. It makes you think you can pick up cars and shit. <laughs> like, beat the hell. Oh, dude, we got a funny article later on, man. There oh, was yeah? this, yo, you want me to give a spoiler? Or you want me to, well, it's okay. We'll go nah, over nah, it. No, no, we'll get, go over yeah, we're going to talk about PCP in a little bit. Spoilers. Yeah, fuck you. You don't nah. deserve to be spoiled. Love you guys. You're going to spoil. Stimulating, disinhibiting, and hallucinogenic effects when administered. Yeah. So you trip balls, you don't know what anything is, and you can't feel anything. It's a fucking anesthetic. Yeah, I mean, kind of seems that way. You remember that uh, scene from... I'm, I keep making movie references, but it's the best thing I can... I mean, you're the guy. Like, that's yeah, what you I, do. That's, I know, but that's your thing. You remember, that? you remember that scene in fucking uh, Dewey Cox? We did the PCP. I am invincible! Mm. Dude, I bet every PCP Sherm head actually feels that way. Yeah. I bet. Dude, because, oh I mean, there's all these stories about, like, a oh, local guy on PCP shot five times by police, punched three police officers, was apprehended, and later died in hospital. What about, <laughs> like, I wonder if there's actually ever been somebody that flipped a car on PCP. 
It's probably like a fucking Mini Cooper, but yeah. Probably. Um, or one of the, or maybe one of the French people in the in the protest right now. Maybe on PC- they're all, maybe they're all on PCP. No, dude. If if they were Frenchies all on, on PC- PCP, holy shit! Oh no! I'm sure that's how the revolution actually started. That's what uh, motivated it. I hear that the Marquis de Sade claims that he was in what is that big fucking jail they had in the middle of London during the French before the. French I know what you're talking about, but I don't the remember Ballastine, the name. Yeah, something like the that. Palestine or some shit like that. Fucking yeah, name. he was locked in there, and apparently he was like they heard people outside, so they yelled out, "Help! They're killing us in here!" Basically, right. And the Marquis de Sade claims that he said that, which sparked the French Revolution. Oh shit! So he took claim for that. <laughs> Okay, yeah, he takes claim for the whole fucking revolution. Yeah, All right, my bad. It was a mixture of, like, revolutions have to be a mixture of collective and individual shit. It's true. It's very true. I mean, once you're oppressed, we talked about that last time, once you're oppressed, like, long enough, you're... There's a system that's fucking you. You have the right to, to overthrow that back. system. Yeah, like, anarchy is a transitional thing. Like, um... It was marketed in the 1950s as an anesthetic pharmaceutical drug that was taken off the market in 1965. So that shit lasted 15 years. Dope. Uh, do, really? Like, they were just PCP'd up motherfuckers. Real dope, yeah. Due to the high uh-huh. prevalence of disassociating hallucinogenic side effects it produced. Afterward, a similar structurally uh, related compound named ketamine, ketamine was discovered by Park Davis researchers as a better tolerated uh, derivative for use as an anesthetic pharmaceutical drug. So they switch from PCP to ketamine. Uh, I'm going to open a new tab on that. Uh, PCP emerged as a recreational drug in mid 19s so shortly, like two years after they fucking banned it, it became a recreational drug. I love the fucking drug culture, dude. That's, that's beautiful. <laughs> this is immediately, oh, you don't want us to do it? We're going to find a way to do it anyway. It's like, hey, this thing that was uh, literally given to us by pharmacists for the past like 15 years is now just like taken right off. You know what we're going to do? We're going to do a shit ton of it just under the fucking counter. Speakeasies and hookah <coughs> bars, dude. Um, Too far. Sorry. I'm really... But, all right, you good? It may be orally smoked, insulfilated, insulfilated, or Insufl- via injection. Insulfilated. Uh, the method in which a substance has been ingested can greatly impact potency, duration, and overall experience of a substance. Many substances are more effective when consuming... <laughs> Or using certain... Okay, that's just saying the obvious. Okay, yeah. so or via so, injection. Yeah, due to its potent disassociative and stimulative effects, known habit-forming properties, as well as established toxicity profiles, it's strongly recommended that one use proper harm reduction uh, practices of choosing to use this substance. Yeah, so that's them yeah, saying that's, that's a good what idea. we're saying. Like, if any of you motherfuckers OD, don't say we didn't tell you to be safe. Yeah. All right, so... Um, we're just just because we know you like we know most motherfuckers on the internet and when you come across something you're like oh enjoy that well just so you guys are safe once again we're gonna give you like the dosages and shit that you know decide decide all right so being smoked the threshold is one to two milligrams a light high is one to uh, two to four milligrams uh, the common dosage of PCP is four to eight milligrams. Strongest is eight to twelve, and the heaviest is twelve and more. So you don't want to do a lot. You of this don't want to do more than fucking eight. Wait. All right. So the duration of it while smoked, the onset or the total is four to six hours. So you're you're pretty much done for the day. Holy shit! Yeah, if take you're gonna, time if off you're gonna, for this yeah, drug. Yeah, if you're gonna do this drug, at least take two days off. It's kind of like taking acid. Like you have to plan around that shit because you're just gonna be gone. I mean, most people just put, you know, most people put liquid PCP in blunts. So like, they call that wet, 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 wet. No, wet, wet, <laughs> wet. So it says the onset's two to twenty minutes. So wow, you, it's it's a creeper. 
Yeah. So you do it, and then it's like, oh, man, I don't know when this shit's going to kick in. And then you start to, like, take a piss or, like, walk around the house for a minute, Whoa. and it just, like, train wrecks you. Yeah. All right. So the come, the come up is 20 to 40 minutes. So you're on that ride for a good 20 to 40 minutes until you hit the peak, which lasts for two to three hours. Yeah. Offset. So, so you're coming down. Coming down for about... One to two hours. And the after, oh my god, dude, you're done for like the next 48 hours. I'm sure you're worn the fuck shit, out. Like, your body you're is done. just running on hyperdrive. Yeah, pretty much like taking a direct injection of fucking adrenaline. You know, they got your bulge, bro. Good. I had a wedgie like a motherfucker. <laughs> like, my asshole is just eating yeah, it my fucking sucks, shorts. sucks, don't it? Yeah. That shit, that's why I switched seats with you. It's gonna do the podcast like this. Hold on. <laughs> um... <laughs> So, PCP also acts as dopamine reuptake inhibitor and a serotonin oh, reuptake inhibitor. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Al, give it a second. Because that was, that was just the smoke. We're going to talk about taking it oral now. Oh. Yeah, so orally, the threshold is one to three. Light, a light dosage is three to five milligrams. Common, everybody takes it is five to ten. Uh, the strongest that you want to take is ten to fifteen and the heaviest, which you probably don't want to, because like it says, heavy dose may result in psychosis and mania, which is 15. Yeah, that's like punching cop shit. Yeah, that's that's like pu- trying to punch through a car door because you think that you're a ghost. Yeah. Uh, yeah, all right, so... Like it says it's considerably more likely to uh, induce psychosis and mania than other disassociatives, and therefore is potentially uh, dangerous even in a proper setting. So they're saying, like, this drug is off the... Like, you take it, and you're f- you're fucked. Like, you don't know who you are and or what you're doing, and you're just completely not in control of your yourself. That's it. Dope. Okay. You know what we should do for a drug of the day? We should go through some of these, like, uh, drug reddits and check out some of the, like, good and bad stories from taking some of these drugs. Okay. Like, uh, see if somebody's ever tried some Yohimbine. How about this? Since I think... Let's go back and start doing all of our old drug of the days by doing that. Like, finding yeah. all, like, people, testimonies of people who have done that shit. Shit, I mean, during, like... During one of the next segments, I could probably try and pull one up. We could read one. Hey, if you find something. Uh, okay, we can do that during... I'll do that uh, during um, Encyclopedia Erratica. Read off them physical effects. All right, then physical effects. Pain relief, dizziness, motor control loss, nausea, optical sliding. What the fuck? So, like... So, shit just moves. So, like, you're looking around and everything is yeah, just, like, just doing mo- this. Uh, like, like, I... Is the... Uh, if I'm not mistaken, optical sliding is when you like put your hand in front of your face and it just moves like color. I don't know because that's like that, trails. That's seeing yeah. trails. Optical sliding, I think, is more like you can't trails, focus though. on anything. I think uh, it's like an earthquake is constantly. Going optical on. sliding can be described as a physical effect which inhabits in coordination and control of a person's eyes, suppressing their ability to keep them still. Oh, so it's basically like. Your motive skills are kind of like, whoa. Well, uh, your depth the eyes continuously maybe. moving in a variety of direction combined with the sensation of not being able to stare motionless. Oh, so your eyes are just like, whoa. Yeah, your eyes are just like moving whoa. like everything is legitimately shaking. Yeah. Oh, my God. Pretty much. Uh, um, perception of bodily light, light, lightness. But yeah, so you feel like you're just walking on the moon. Oh, you're just, whoa. Physical anatomy. Physical autonomy. Autonomy, excuse me. Anatomy. I don't know why I said that. Yeah, that's a, that's a physical effect. You have anatomy. Yeah, you have physical anatomy. You're just like, oh my god, you get like really existential. You know, more You're people- just like, it just suddenly hits you like, oh fuck, dude. Well, well, that's I'm this what- ghost inside of a fucking meat cage. <laughs> Holy well, that's shit! What, that's what they're saying. That's what they're saying on the streets, dude. You got to take PCP, and your bones get stronger. Mm. Yeah, that's what they're saying. Physical that's why I anatomy. thought it was anatomy. Yeah, um, it can be described as a person for what? What? Oh, well, what? Is, hold on. Well, I was what is it fucking saying? dozing off. What is what is physical autonomy? 
Yo, put your fucking thing back on. Oh, I thought you knew. No. You fucking smart. Can be described as a person's own body performing simple or complex actions entirely on its own. Yeah, that's what I, that's what I thought. It's just you're not there. It's You're disassociated from your body. Oh, so you're... you're you're doing things. You don't know what you're doing. Uh, spontaneous physical sensations. So basically touching everything. Oh, no. Just randomly you just get like, oh, what is that? Yep. Yeah. Like, you'll just get itchy for no Physical reason. Physical euphoria, so you're just like, oh my god, everything feels so good. So spontaneous physical sensations with physical euphoria. Oh, with so physical hopefully, euphoria. hopefully tactile all of them are suppression. good. Hopefully you don't get that, like, spider crawling on you yeah, shit. That you fucking said tactile. Parasitosis. I said tactile, and then you said spider, and then I automatically went to those fucking... Tactical spiders? No, tacti- uh, the tactites. Stalactites? No, no, the fucking things from uh, the first Zelda game, little spider things. Oh my! They're called God. Uh, they're called uh, tactites or something. Yeah, something like that. Look that yeah. up. Tactiles. I'm pretty sure it's tactile. Fuck it, I don't care. All right, so yeah, tactile suppression. Yes, yeah, so you don't feel anything. One's ability to f- yeah, it decreases that doesn't make one's ability sense. to feel shit. So hold on, it how can you, you have? But how can you have physical euphoria and also have tactile suppression? Then? Think about it this way. Think about it this way. It's like, imagine having an orgasm and, like, while you're coming, you're not going to be able to feel if somebody, like, pricks you with a needle, right? Like, if you're if you're in the act of coming, you're not going to notice if somebody, like, kind of pinches you or fucking plucks it. So, imagine that amplified. You're feeling this surging, like, warm feeling within you. So much like you know how when you feel numb you get that burning sensation. Yeah. Imagine like feeling numb but just feeling like warm and comfortable. That's pretty much what it's saying. Like you're That's numb weird. but you're just feeling like whoa yeah within your own body. Anything external doesn't get through. So phys- visual effects suppression. Ooh. Uh, double vision frame did you just rate fart? suppression. No. No. No, but I'll tell you when I fucking <laughs> fart. <laughs> uh. Double vision, filling my eyes with that double vision. Can you put like a little instrumental of me singing that over? Yeah, yeah, I got you. I got you. Um, net, 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 net. All right, so, uh, frame rate suppression. So you're skipping frames, dude. Yeah, you're You're like, you're basically like watching a movie where like the the lights just keep flicking on and off. You just can see half the bunch. Mm-hmm. Oh my god, that's cray. Um, and you're disassociated, so it's like yeah. you literally are watching a movie that you're not even a part of. It's just like, whoa, this is the best movie I ever saw. You wake up the next day. I wonder what that movie was called. That was a crazy night out in the theater. Did you know, that movie was great, man. I don't even remember half of it. Why am I in handcuffs? <laughs> Mommy. Why is uh, everything gray? Pattern recognition suppression. Apparently, we already looked that up, but I don't remember what it is. Partial. Yeah. You, you can't, like, recognize patterns and shit. It's partial, complete inability to mentally process. Go back up. <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, mentally process and interpret visual information regardless of its clarity. For example, if one looks at an object in front of them, they will have a reduced ability to recognize what they are seeing. So, like, when it says you're disassociated, like, you're disassoci- disassociated from yourself, and you look at shit and don't even know, like, what it is. Oh, well, okay. That's kind of fucked, actually. Yeah, so, like... So you don't even know if that's your mom. You don't even know if that lamp mom. is a lamp. Yo, is that a lamp or is that a fucking camel? I don't know. I'm going to beat the shit out of it. Yeah, I want to punch it. And it feels so good to punch it. It's crazy. Environmental cubism. What? Everything's a square? Yeah, squares and cubes. So, with that, like, frame rate suppression and pattern recognition suppression... Everything just goes 8-bit. Pretty much. Whoa. You can't tell what anything is and everything. Like, your vision is just, like, blocks and, like, That's disassociated crazy. shapes. Shit, dude. I don't um, know. I don't know. It also says environmental orbism. So, like, shit is just... You can't make out complex shapes. Like, everything just is just blur. It's basically... Everything is a, is either a square or a sphere. I mean, I don't... It's not that rigid. Yeah, I know. But, like, yeah, everything is just, like, bloaty and fucking... Like, okay, you know how you can do that thing with your eyes where you can just kind of, like, rest them for a minute and everything goes blurry? Yeah. Imagine that, like, times 20. That's probably what it feels like. That's crazy. Yeah. Ooh, what is that scenery slicing? Ooh. 
The experience of a person's visual feel, field of play, uh, appearing to be split into separate, cleanly cut sections. Whoa. These individuals slice slices, then proceeds to drift away slow. Oh, drift slowly. Oh, dude. So it's like, dude. Okay. So you're looking at something remember, that just moves to either side. Do you remember? Do you remember those old, uh, those old movies that would like have a conveyor belt with like a scene just it just keeps going and the people are like running like they're outside or something like that. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, like yeah. yeah, the 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 fucking scene would be scenery in the backdrop would be keep going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a loop and you'd be running on a foot. That's what I'm I'm imagining right there. Is like just one thing is doing one thing and the other one's doing the other and it's like <sighs> What I think that it is, is crazy. No, what I think it is more of is like you know how you have two visual fields coming together to create one. Yeah. You, know, you have one eye that looks slightly this way and one eye that looks slightly that way, and they come together to fuck whatever. So it it's it's like I think your your uh, your brain's ability to. Oh wait a minute! Wait a minute! Before you finish that, I'm sorry. I know you have a hypothesis on it, but I think we already because the optical sliding was a thing. So, well, optical sliding goes in with optical slicing in that like they're scenery slicing. Scenery slicing in that like when you look at something, I think like one it goes like in a direction or something and the other eye it wants to go in the other direction or something. Yeah, cuz so, like, that's what optical the we just read that. Like optical sliding is when your eyes just won't stay still. So that so that's basically saying each eye is trying to check out something different. Like, yo, like a fucking lizard. Yeah. Yo, like well, a chameleon fucking chameleon fucking thing. thing. Yeah, dude. Fucking half, like the, the, the flat face motherfuckers with the eyes just like this. Like Ed. Oh, my God. I am chameleon man. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm done. Uh, geometry? Hallucinatory states. Uh, oh, uh, is the experience of a person's field of vision becoming partially or completely encompassed by fast-moving, colorful, and indiscriminately complex geometric patterns form constant shapes? So basically, your basically your uh, field of vision is just fucked. Yeah, but you know what's crazy? I always find it nuts that sometimes when you trip and like you'll you know, find God. Yeah, and then you wake up and you realize there is no God. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. Um, wow, God likes to hide out inside of drugs. A lot. Well, I guess God is drugs. Conservatives hate drugs, but I mean, nothing's brought me closer to God. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking, um... But yeah, when you take, like, a, a hallucinogenic, you, sometimes you do see geometric shapes. Like, you'll see, like, lines. Like, it looks like a neon video game. Like, it looks like Tron, I swear mm. to God. And, like, it's it's weird that your brain creates, like, instead of it being just, like, blurs and, like, things leaking and, like, whatever, looking like a blurred whatever, that it creates these geome- geometric patterns. I think it's crazy that, by default, your brain makes that. It's it's weird. No, you're right. That is that is really fucking weird. You know, I was, I was just sitting here thinking about it when you were talking about it just now, but, like... You remember the the one guy who like took a bunch of different drugs and drew a self portrait of himself yeah. on each different drug, and like the bath salts was just like him with a stick figure or whatever. Mm-hmm. We should go over that. Yeah, that was Cause, awesome. Because like we should go over that and um, check it out on the like all the different drugs on the wiki and see if we can like catch it like all the symptoms in it. That'd be kind of cool. I'm down. All right. So anyway, um, hallucinatory states, internal, internal and external. Yeah. So you're like feeling shit and you're seeing shit. <laughs> That's great. Um, cognitive disassociation, physical, physical disassociation, disassociation, visual disassociation, disconnection, disconnection. Excuse me. Uh, this eventually results in PCP's equivalent of the K-hole, or more specifically, holes, space, and voids alongside of we, structures. We just were talking about that, weren't we? Holy there was a shit. book, because remember, there was a book you said you wanted to check out. Yeah. Is the experience of becoming... Hold on. Um, uh, 
It's generally discussed as something is, which is associated with specifically with ketamine despite being present within most traditional disassociations. It could be described as the place a person finds themselves at once visual disconnection becomes powerful enough to leave the person incapable of re uh, receiving external sensory input. So you just can't even like see... You are in the trip. Yeah. And that's where you are. You're you're dead to the world. Like it's where like people are shaking you and you're on the ground just like out of it. It's you're where in the void. You are in the void. Holy shit. I that's, wanna read that book. Yeah, that's The K Hole by Jossikins. Jossikins, is that what it was? Yeah. Jossikins. Jossikins. So you should get that and you should do it on our T P P reads. Um, I I'll do it with you. I, we can't do uh, stuff that's copyrighted nowadays. We can only do open source material. I mean, it's science. Uh, if it's chapter by chapter, maybe if we commentate on it enough and I just pull out certain parts. I accidentally smacked the mic. It's okay. It's okay. Nobody was talking. Anyway, <laughs> cognitive effects. Abne so this is everything after. Amnesia. Uh, go ahead, AJ. I can't read this right now. Amnesia, analysis, suppression, anxiety, suppression, cognitive euphoria. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Let me let me do this. Oh, uh, here we go. Hold on, hold on. Let me get. Uh, oh my God, there's a lot. Holy fuck, there's a lot. Sub Psychotic. Okay, if you so. or a loved one took PCP and have suffered from the following, please contact Scowling Owl Lawyer Services I'm gonna, immediately. I'm gonna just put it on you. Okay. Amnesia, analysis suppression, anxiety suppression, cognitive euphoria, compulsive redosing, conceptual thinking, creativity enhancement, delusion, depersonal depersonalization. Fired. Derealization. <laughs> Disinhibitization. Dis <laughs> now you just want to take some PCP. Don't Deja you? vu. Yeah, just ego take, death. Just take that PCP. Ego inflation. Just take that PCP. Feelings bitch. of impending doom. Just take that PCP. Bitch. Dude, feelings of impending doom. Yeah. Like, like God is coming, rapture is coming soon. Yeah. <laughs> That's like crackhead shit where you're just looking out the fucking window oh like, my oh, my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, something bad's going to happen, but I don't know what. This effect is more... Immersion powerful. enhancement? Let me see that. Immersion enhancement? Uh, is an effect which results in a pronounced <gasps> increase in one's tendency mm -hmm. to become fully captivated and... Oh, sorry. Hold on. Sorry. Forgot we weren't on the page. Where'd it go? Because it's still on you, but go ahead. Is an effect which results in a pronounced increase in one's tendency to become fully captivated and engrossed by external stimuli such as film, TV shows, video games, and various forms of media. This greatly increases one's suspension of disbelief. Yeah, so you're just like a skeptic. You don't know what the fuck anything is. It's more crackhead shit. <laughs> Introspection, mania, memory suppression, psychosis, suicidal... Ideation, so you're just thinking about suicide. Oh, uh, constantly. I should just fucking kill myself, but then I won't be able to smoke PCP. Thought acceleration and thought deceleration. Oh. So that it makes you dumb and smart. Um, auditory distortion, uh, auditory hallucination, and auditory suppression. So Jesus Christ, you can't hear anything, <laughs> but what you do hear is distorted, and you're just imagining it. <laughs> See, basically, if you're beating the shit out of somebody on PCP, the only thing that you're hearing is can is literally that you're like <laughs> exactly. Like you hear like the muffled sounds of fucking flesh on flesh, and just nothing. Yep. <laughs> I, I just think I need some PCP. I just think your inside of your head is like one giant can concert while you go on a bloodthirsty rampage. Truth. So that's a PCP. Yo, canned is coming back, and I'm gonna try and get him on the show. Yeah, dude. Fuck yeah, dude. We We're have to get him even if we don't get him on the show. We should do them. Them. Damn it! I keep slipping that up. Yeah, We're sorry. 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 We're trying. Sorry, canned. But uh, yeah, man. So <laughs> canned is cool. I love canned. Uh, they are coming back here. I want to get them on the show. Yeah, like I said, even if we can't get them on the show, uh, we should do a uh, interview with them, just like on our phones and record it and just have some audio or something at the very least if we can't get them on the show. Yeah. Um, anyway. Uh, legality. Ooh, let's see where it's legal. Austria. 
Holy shit, it's illegal to possess, produce, and sell under the SMG. Schmutzmegel gets so Osterreich. So just don't have a oh. submachine gun on you. Schmutzmegel gets Osterreich. Osterreich. Schmutzmegel gets Osterreich. Now say it in dumb fuck American. Say it in dumb Such fuck American. Such Hold on. Such to mit tell get sets Osterreach Re Reach Reach Osterreach Oster Search my Stolgertz Osterrich. Hey man. Search man, I love that search my Stolgertz Osterrich yeah, wieners, man. Yeah man, I'm I'm poor as fuck, man, but Oster Rich, bro. Oster Rich. Oster Rich, boy. Canada PCP is a schedule one. Shit. New Zealand schedule one. Poland schedule two. Hold on, isn't weed a schedule one drug in America? It's becoming like more and more legalized, but yeah, well, yeah, I know that, but it is a Schedule One drug, right? I believe. Well, why the fuck is a P? Why the fuck is PCP on a Schedule Two? I, in fucking Poland, anything goes, man. No, dude, you know, in the United States PCP is a Schedule Two drug. Oh shit! Con- as, as a controlled, controlled substance, substance yeah. But so is weed. Weed is a controlled substance too, and it's still Schedule One. Uh, it's so fucking stupid. This shit literally makes you want to beat the shit out of a random ass person. DEA and yet, member. Oh my god. Yep. <sighs> See also responsible use. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. The, yep. Nah, I'm good. Yep. We already, we already went that. over that in our first episode. Yeah. See that for details. Shh. Just make sure you don't kill yourselves. Don't die, God damn Just it. don't do PCP. All right, so let's move on here. Just don't do it. Um, it's just stupid. We're going to get into some metal shit. Cause yeah, we haven't done that in a while. Yeah. Um, so it's also been like 36 minutes, so we might have to cut some of that. Well, it's okay. It was uh, That was good, though. We, it was. It was dope. Went down some nice little K-holes. K-holes, dude. Thank you.